Football season's almost here again. Hard to believe fall is on its way. So enjoy while we make this football bow for you. Hi everyone, it's Dean and Diana with Reese by Faith. And we're gonna create a football bow. And it's right around the corner. Believe it or not, I cannot hardly believe summer is almost ending. And that means football season will be in full swing real soon. So we're gonna make a football bow for you today. So I hope you enjoy this. Let me turn you down. Okay, so we're gonna use the four in one Pro Bow the Hand by Regina Sellers. And I absolutely love this tool. Um, it works perfectly for me. The large numbers, I love the wooden dowel. It slides out easily. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna do our sideline ribbon first. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna cut the edge for our first tail into a V, as you can see. And we're going to come over six inches and we're going to twist it. We're going to come over six inches. We're going to twist it six inches and we're going to cut. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut that V again. I love football season. It's the best time of the year, fall. So then we're gonna use the football ribbon, which is a really beautiful ribbon and it's wired. All the ribbon is wired for lasting enjoyment. We're gonna cut that V. We're gonna bring that tail up approximately six inches. We're gonna do a loop and we're gonna go in the opposite directions. I'm gonna do another loop and we're gonna do another tail. And I'm gonna twist this tail around. I'm gonna twist this tail and I like my bows nice and big. And if you pull in the tails, you can make the bow smaller by decreasing the size of the loops. But who doesn't love that large explosive bow? Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this football touchdown ribbon and it has game time, touchdown, number one so we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut a v and we're going to go the opposite now so i'm going to go this way and what i'm going to do is i'm going to twist the ribbon so that my football helmet is standing upwards so that you see it so i'm not going to twist it over I'm gonna bring it underneath and then I'm gonna twist it. And now you're gonna see that loop again. And I actually do three loops for this. So we're gonna twist it. Now you see the touchdown. We're gonna bring that around. Isn't that beautiful? So we're finished with that. And isn't that bow just explosive? It is so big and so full. And we haven't even put the center in yet. 
So we're gonna put some footballs inside of the center of the bow. So we're gonna bring that in. And we're gonna do two loops. And have one loop going one way and one loop going the other direction and then the tails are going to be opposite of each other and then we're going to finish it off with a football ribbon we're going to do two loops, a little smaller, but it really makes the bow pop. So we're going to go just a tad bit smaller on that. And then we're going to do a tail. And we're going to take our perfect wire ties that I just absolutely love. You want the bumpy end to be on the bottom. So if you see that bumpy, you want that to be down. You're going to slide it up between those dowel rods. And with this four in one bow holder, it makes it so easy for the ribbon to slide out without any distress whatsoever. So we're gonna pull that right up. We're gonna put a wire or a chenille stem in the back. And we're gonna pull that. We're gonna clip that. And that bow is not going anywhere. So then what I do is I just work on that bow and fluff those loops so that it looks so explosive and so beautiful. And you can see all the different football helmets and so forth. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the bow down. We are gonna take a piece of our ribbon to finish it off. We're going to pull the wire out and this will allow you to have two ties. We're going to cut it down the center. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to go down the center. I'm a little shaky from all my meds that I'm on since I had my transplant. So I'm gonna fold that underneath and we'll put that in between to hide the mechanics because you don't wanna see that. And actually in the center, you would see that little football. So we're gonna tie the back and then we're gonna trim it. And isn't that just beautiful? So let me know what kind of bow you would like to see and I'd be happy to make it for you. So message us if you have any suggestions whatsoever, we'd love to hear from you. So thanks again for watching today and we hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget, to subscribe to our channel and visit us on Etsy. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks again for watching.
Bye for now. Thanks for joining us today. And if you'd like to purchase one of our bows, type in the code THANK YOU and receive 10% off.